Hello boys and girls, Bustering out here, and welcome back to another World of Tanks Blitz tank review. Today we're taking a look at the tier 8 German medium tank, the Panther II. Now this is part from the old medium tank line, not the new one, which was introduced in the 1.9 update. So yeah, let's begin by taking a look at the stats of the vehicle. The Panther II has 1450 hit points. Uh, the hull armor is 100 in the front, 60 on the sides and 40 on the rear. The turret armor is 120mm on the front and 60 on the sides and the rear. We are going to take a more detailed look uh, at the armor in a second. The vehicle weighs 54 tons, but it has a great 700 horsepower engine, which gives it a nice speed limit of 55 km per hour. The traverse speed is also very good uh, at 40 degrees per second and the third traverse uh, speed is 35. So now let's take a look at the gun of the vehicle. The Panther II gets an excellent 88mm gun, the same that you get on the Tiger I. It has an, a rate of fire of 8.59 rounds per minute which is very good at 203 minutes of penetration with AP and if you are willing to fire some APCR you get 237 millimeters of penetration. The average damage is also pretty nice at 220 and uh, the accuracy of the gun is also very very good at 0.34. The aiming time however is a bit lucky at 2.9 seconds. So for the consumables, we are going to use a repair kit, adrenaline and a multi-restoration pack. My ammo loadout, as you can see there, I carry only 5 APCR rounds for those clutch situations. And my equipment is gun rammer, ventilation and vertical stabilizers. If you want, you can copy my crew skills. Other than that, I don't really think that there is much to say about the crew skills. Now the armor of the vehicle, let's take a more detailed look. As you can see the frontal plate is 100mm thick but there is a weak spot right there which is 60mm thick and is not as sloped. The side armor is 60 uh, the suspension of course counts as 25mm of spaced armor and below the suspension there is another 60mm uh, strap of armor and the rear is only 40 as you can see the turret is 120 but it's completely flat, the cheeks are 60 but they are an out of bounds zone and the commander's hatch is 120 so if you are willing to fire at the commander's hatch don't do this just fire at the turret front because the armor values are the same and you are most more likely to miss the commander hatch. The gun mantlet is very well armored and uh, angled as you can see so most of the shots there will result into a bounce unless they are very very lucky. And now we are shooting at the Panther II with the IS-3 stop gun, the BL-9. And as you can see it's very very easy to penetrate this tank. The armor is not that good against tier 8 heavies and even tier 8 mediums. Uh, so yeah, you are going to be uh, cautious and you need to play it very uh, carefully. The way that you can use your armor is only by side scraping. As you can see I'm showing you there, your side is impenetrable at that angle and if you point your turret right toward the enemy and you hide your front behind a corner you will be able to pull some bounces uh, but if they shoot you at the turret um, you are not going to bounce anything unless they hit the gun mantlet or the cheeks which are an out of bounds zone. So if you face a Panther II on the battlefield just shoot it in the turret. Uh, it is only 120mm thick and uh, it is completely flat. So yeah, if you don't hit the gun mantlet or the cheeks you are good to go. And that is of course if you cannot see its frontal armor. If you can see the front just shoot the front. It's as easy as that. As you can see if you're not looking directly towards the enemy your cheeks are not an out of bounds zone. Uh, so yeah that's all about the armor. It is not that great even though uh, the line uh, is the more heavily armored one. 
but on the E50 you get much much better armor. Now our first game, I'm playing in a platoon with Force Bladder and we're playing on this uh, map, Black Goldville. Uh, now the Panther 2 is not a bad vehicle, but it was very very hard for me uh, to master it. Uh, because, I don't know, it just doesn't uh, suit my playstyle, I guess. Um, no, it's not that, I mean, it's a very good vehicle, the gun is awesome, uh, but it is very, very uh, high profile machine. As you can see, it's uh, almost bigger than the Ferdinand, and it has no armor whatsoever, as you saw uh, earlier. If you're playing against uh, tier 8, uh, machines. If you uh, are facing tier 6 uh, tank, you can outplay it and use your armor to bounce some shots. But if you are facing a tier 8 vehicle or higher, uh, your armor uh, doesn't even count. Uh, so that is the main reason. And the profile is so big that the enemies just cannot miss you. Uh, the other medium tank, which I can give you an example is the T-44. I also have the T-44. The gun on the T-44 is not as good as the Panther 2, in my opinion, because it's a 105mm. It has less penetration, but bigger alpha damage. It's it's a great gun, but in my opinion the Panther 2's gun is better. But anyways, uh, the T-44 has armor, and even if it faces machines uh, that can penetrate it anywhere, it can use its low profile and the Panther 2 doesn't have a low profile so uh, it can only use its armor and the moments when your armor doesn't count uh, are just going to drain your hit points and the good thing is that you have pretty decent amount of hit points in this machine so you can take uh, some hits before you die now you can see me poking and shooting the Tiger 2. I didn't want to uh, go out in front of him because I don't stand a chance of bouncing. Only if I side scraped I would have bounced but uh, at the time I wasn't uh, feeling like it. I just wanted to poke and take shots. And now we spot the Ferdinand which is going to be a tough nut to crack but the cheeks on the mid plate are a weak spot uh, so I'm aiming for them but the range is uh, very long so they go and hit the cheek and they penetrate as I said they are very weak and this shot I don't even know where it hit but yeah, I'll take it now we spot the enemy tiger one he's going to be an easy uh, target to penetrate and a thing that I forgot to mention is that the panther 2 shares the same gun as the Tiger one. I mean, I, I told you that, but if you unlock this gun on the Tiger one, you will have it unlocked on the Panther 2 as well. Uh, so, it is a good idea if you are going uh, up the heavy tank line to first uh, unlock the Tiger one and then proceed uh, to the Panther 2. Or it works vi vice versa as well. If you unlock this gun on the Panther 2, you will have it on the Tiger one. So. It is uh, great to have such shared modules. Now the Ferdinand doesn't really have uh, a choice here. The only thing that he can do is go who down and he's doing it right now. Kind of. Uh, but I load APCR and you'll see what this ammo does to the Ferdinand. Uh, so 237mm of penetration are more than enough to go through the front of the 30. Uh, so yeah, uh, for those situations when you face heavily armored machine, you can load APCR and just uh, go through any part of its armor. Of course this does not apply to uh, tier 9 and 10 heavy tanks such as D75, D100. Those tanks you cannot penetrate frontally even with APCR. Uh, very easily of course you can penetrate them but it is not so easy to do and yeah uh, this game was a victory second class mastery 3000 damage and 
Yeah, I think that was a pretty nice uh, result there for the Panther too. Next up, I'm playing alone this time on the same map and I'm top tier again. Now this tank does not perform great when it's facing tier 10 machines. It really really struggles uh, a lot because the gun is good enough, you can penetrate at tier 10s, but as I mentioned, the high profile of this machine and the lack of armor against tier 10 vehicles because uh, all the tier 10s can penetrate you anywhere well apart from the gun mantlet of course but who is going to shoot you at the gun mantlet if you can see uh, your whole tank I mean it doesn't make sense but yeah you understand what I am telling you it is a huge target it is not easy to hide and it is uh, the, the thing that uh, this tank is so big means that you have less uh, horsepower per ton uh, ratio on the engine which means that it is not as fast as the other medium tanks uh, especially uphill you can see me doing barely over 20 kilometers per hour so yeah that's not very very a uh, healthy speed there we managed to catch this T-44 off position he went uh, very forwards but he spotted me and disenabled his whole team from the central part of the map to put shots in me which took almost all of my hit points leaving me only on nearly 500 health and I don't want to get shot by the KV-1S at all uh, so I am going to hide behind the Churchill but yeah he takes him out anyways now going forwards a lot of targets pop up some long range shots on this Churchill not uh, likely to penetrate if I don't hit him um, in an unangled part so yeah he hides anyways so now I'm shooting at D150 and he uh, doesn't angle his armor at all. I mean, his side flush I'll penetrate any day of the week. And now I'm put. I'm going to put uh, one last blind shot. Hopefully he's there. And uh, yeah, continue forwards. We are not uh, in a good uh, situation right now because the enemy team has the advantage and. Did I really just drive over those rocks? I mean, anyways. <laughs> now, I'm going to go forwards, but I don't know uh, what awaits me there. I don't know where the rest of the enemy team is. And if I run into a full health, even a tier 6 uh, can uh, kill me right now. Uh, so, yeah, I'm cautious but uh, I don't want to lose the game so I'm going forward now they start to cap giving me a rough idea exactly where they are and there we go spotted their entire team now I'm going to put some shots at the Churchill first I was thinking to put some fire at the Tiger as well but since the Churchill is facing me with his back I, I was kind of hoping to set him on fire there and I wanted to concentrate my fire on one tank in order to kill uh, him faster and you saw there tr I tried to side scrape but it didn't work even though in theory I should uh, be able to bounce the Churchill and there we go the T-150 manages to put one shot into me but it bounced and he pulled back now I'm looking for the Churchill once again I want to reset that base. I failed to penetrate the T-150's turret. I was going to try again but he hides behind the rock. And I didn't think that he would poke but he did. And that wasn't a very good idea. But now I'm alone and this doesn't look like a victory. Uh, but yeah, I will try to do as much damage as I can before I go down. And one shot it will be. And the S100 takes me out, but yeah, uh, 
when you see the results you understand why we lost this game it is kind of obvious and any second now there we go 3600 damage but look at the rest of the team three people did zero damage that's like almost half of the team it just does not work like that you should do damage uh, but yeah anyways one person cannot carry the whole team always but yeah it was still a very very good game and the last game that I have to show you for today I played this a long time ago actually this is one of my first games in the Panther 2 and you might think well you, your tank is not stuck uh, how can this be uh, the one of the first games well uh, as I mentioned I had the 88 millimeter gun unlocked and I just had to unlock the turret in order to fit it so I just free XP the turret and put the top gun on and I just had to unlock an engine I think I cannot quite remember uh, so yeah I had the top gun already so it was a very very quick grind on the Panther 2 for me oh it is not such on the E50 I had I have to grind something like 70,000 experience for the top gun I don't know it's just uh, ridiculous anyways I'm going to head for that central part of the map and I'm going to spot the IS-3 from the enemy team so this is a very important target so I want to put at least one shot into him but I have to be careful because as you saw in the beginning the IS-3 can penetrate me everywhere so now he is coming I'm looking for that roof and there we go put one into his roof and now I'm pulling back I don't want to take a shot from that BL-9 Hoping to get some support from my teammates uh, and there we go the S3 stops his advance because my team uh, starts putting shots into him not effective shots but yeah enough to stop his advance pick up the quick kill there on the SU-152 and now I am going to engage the S3 there we go track him and do damage at the same time but he's now mad at me so he's going to go forwards and put one into my tank there we go but it bounced that was one of the rare uh, cases that your armor will work I'm going to put some newbie shots at him right here I don't know what was I thinking and where did my shooting skills go this one was better and now look at that uh, any second now you might actually recognize this from my trailer, uh, channel trailer video. Uh, this part was just amazing. There we go, managed to juke him and he uh, shot, shot me in the track, which absorbed the shot. And now I'm going to attempt a ramming. I thought I was going to drive over him, but I didn't. That was a, just a fail. And I just put one into his roof. I don't know why I didn't go over the the IS-3 either the game is programmed like that or the IS-3 is a bit higher uh, than this uh, piece of ground that I'm standing on either way I didn't manage to uh, do it and I put the kill on the Yak Panther now the KV-1 tries to run away but before he does I put one last round into him and yeah this one didn't work out but I'm going to go around and just hunt him down because I want to do more damage and get more kills and win the game of course there he is not a challenge at all for a panther too but uh, yeah if he has the top gun he is a challenge of course but he doesn't so he's an easy kill and can I get one less one into him no nope. uh, the S3 picks the kill but uh, I took a shot from the from the hill on the opposite side of the map but it bounced so not a big deal 
Now this VK361H will uh, take some shots in return. And the armor on the VK is not that great. And the 88mm deals with him and just picks him apart. Now only the IS remains. And they yeah, are looking for the shots here. I thought he was going forward, so I put one uh, blind. And I'm going to hide behind this building because I am a two shot kill for him. Unless he low rows. But yeah, just in case. And I'm going to wait for someone to spot him. And there he is. He uh, looks like he's going around. He just killed our easy 8. And I managed to put one into him. On the move. There he is. I just got spotted. But I'm continuing to put uh, some effective fire into him. Yeah, I go just loving this gun. Great accuracy. Great rate of fire. Great penetration. An awesome gun overall. And there we go. He's finally dead. And we won the game. I really like this tank, but at the same time, I really struggled uh, through the grind. There you go, first class master in a top gun, 5,500 experience, five time event, of course, uh, 3,590 damage, and 1,100 base experience. There you can see the rest of the stats, and uh, yeah, in conclusion, I will say that this is a great medium tank, uh, but disadvantage of it is the uh, giant size of it and the lack of uh, decent armor uh, if you remember the panther one had the same disadvantages uh, but this time you get a much better gun an 88 millimeter which is the strongest point of this uh, tank and yeah, it really makes it what it is and also it's a very very good looking tank I have to admit that uh, so yeah uh, if you are uh, looking forward to this vehicle, I will say that it is not for everyone, as I struggled through the grind, uh, but if it is your uh, piece of uh, tank, you will enjoy it uh, very, very much. This will be for this video, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and good luck on the battlefield.